This is the brand new iPhone 17 Pro. It's the most powerful phone that Apple has ever built. An A19 chip making it faster and giving it a huge performance boost, neural engine improvement so that it can handle intensive tasks more smoothly, improved battery life, durability, and of course, the camera, a work of art. All of these things can make your life more productive and actually help you achieve the goals that you have for yourself. But without setting your phone up correctly, it'll just be a shiny and potentially bright orange distraction. If you're new here, my name is J.R. Smith and I'm an orthopedic surgery resident at the Mayo Clinic. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take control of your phone so that it actually works for you and not against you. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how I personally set up my iPhone for productivity, focused, and just my general well-being. And you'll see me change the settings live so that you can follow along and do it with me. And like everything on this channel, all of the recommendations and suggestions are evidence-based practices backed by tons of research. So not only will it work for me, but there is a good chance that it's gonna work for you too. Throughout medical school and into my early training, I realized that the times I was most distracted by my phone were the exact times when life was the hardest. During stressful seasons, I leaned on my phone to escape. I would scroll, tap, and refresh when I knew that all of these things were just pulling me further and further away from my goals. And that's not a coincidence. Stress actually makes distraction more tempting. But when I had control of my phone, I was more productive with my work, more present with my family, and just a happier and more fulfilled version of myself. And this is why I care so much about this topic. Phones can either bring us traction towards what matters or distraction away from it. So let's get right into it. The first step that we're gonna take together is turning our phones into grayscale. Research shows that removing color makes our phones less stimulating. And one study found that this alone reduced daily screen time by about 20 minutes. That's over two hours a week. That time could be spent on studying, hanging out with friends or family, or working on that side hustle that you claim you have no time to do. And the reason why this works is because humans are actually designed to be drawn towards bright colors. And the entire digital industry knows this. Humans evolved to notice bright things in nature, right? Fruit, fire, blood. These are things that signaled something important for our survival. So now saturated colors stimulate our visual cortex more strongly than dull ones. The bright colors on our phones, they draw us in, keep us distracted, and then train our brains to begin needing to check our devices compulsively. Like how many times do you actually pick up your phone out of habit without even needing to do anything? Yeah, I, I know it's a problem, but thankfully there is a easy solution and that's just to remove the color. Let me show you how to do this. Go to settings, click on accessibility, display and text size, scroll down, click on color filters and turn it on. And now your phone is black, white, and different shades of gray, which may seem boring, but that's actually the point. You'd be surprised at how uninteresting Instagram can be when the colors suddenly disappear, making it way easier to actually put your phone down. And if you want to make it something that you can toggle on and off, we can just add it to our control center. Just to swipe down on the top right of your screen, click the plus, click add a control, search for color, color filters pops up, and now you have a control button in your control center that you can easily use to toggle your colors on and off. Now let's talk about your home screen. This is what I believe is the single most important space on your phone. Every time you unlock it, your subconscious is receiving cues. Those cues either push you towards focus or towards distraction. This is my home screen. I have four apps in my dock. They are Haiku, which is Epic, the electronic medical record that I use for work, ChatGPT, which is essentially my personal assistant, OrthoBullets for studying, and the Bible Project app because I'm working on the habit of reading the Bible every day. These are the apps that align with my work, my personal growth, and my long-term goals. For the rest of my screen, I only use widgets. I have my calendar, which basically controls my life, my reminders or to-do list, which keeps me focused on the task that I need to complete by the end of the day, a widget for my Ultra Human Ring that tracks my sleep, partly because I'm planning a video to show you guys how much sleep surgical residents actually get, but also as a reminder to take care of my health, which can be an easy thing to forget when you're busy, and lastly, a clock, mostly just because I like how it looks. But these are widgets that are functional, not distracting. I don't have tons of icons and I definitely don't have any social media apps on my home screen because that is just asking to be distracted. The next setting we have to change relates to notifications. They are a silent killer of productivity. Every buzz or banner is a tiny interruption that yanks your brain out of flow. And research shows that people who went a full day without notifications felt more focused and less distracted. So we know that this works. Let's fix this now. Go to settings, then notifications, and now you wanna scroll down and ruthlessly turn off notifications for apps. 
turn off banners, badges, lock screen alerts for everything that truly does not need your attention. For me, that means almost everything. I only allow notifications for a handful of work-related apps like my email, Epic, our mobile pager system, things that really matter. Ask yourself one question for every app. Do you need to be notified the second that something happens? Most of the time, you don't. And if that's the case, no notifications. Now let's move on to app limits. This is where you can stop the doom scrolling before it even begins. On your iPhone, go to settings, scroll down, click screen time, click app limits, and now choose all the social media apps that are on your phone and set a daily limit. But the key is to ask a friend or family member to set the code and not tell you. My wife Madison set the code for me. When it runs out, I either have to embarrassingly ask her to unlock my phone for me or accept that I'm just done with social media for the day. And I usually choose the latter. And the last thing I want to mention is automations. You can use automations for tons of stuff, and I recommend that you experiment with them based on what you need in your day to day. But I like to use them to trigger something whenever I open certain apps. For example, every time I open YouTube or Instagram, my phone automatically goes to grayscale if it's not already there. It's a subtle nudge to remind me that this app can easily steal my time, all while making it less appealing. Go to your shortcuts app, click on automations, click the plus on the right side of the screen, search for app. Now choose all of the apps that are distracting, which are basically going to be all the social media. Click on run immediately. Now click next. Now click create a new shortcut. Search for color filters. Make sure that it says turn color filters on. Then hit the blue check. And now whenever you open those apps, your phone will automatically turn to grayscale if it isn't already there. So here's the final baseline setup that I recommend for your phone. Grayscale on as your default, a minimalist home screen with only the most important apps there and widgets that anchor you to your goals and health, notifications trimmed to only the essentials, app limits, and a couple of smart automations to keep you honest. Now, if you really wanna take your productivity to the next level, especially for my students out there, you would absolutely love my Evolving Student Challenge. It's a 30-day course where I send you a short video every day for 30 days straight and walk you through everything that you need to know to excel as a student, from mindset shifts to study and test taking strategies. And you also get access to the same Notion template that I use to stay organized, productive, and focused on what really matters. You can find more information in the description below with a few of my favorite tools and resources there as well. If you like this video, then I absolutely know that you would love this one where I show you a phone trick I call the smart scroll method that will make it so much easier to study and get work done throughout the day. Keep evolving and I'll see you in the next one.